Dennis Turner. And where are you from? Madison, Ohio. Okay, and what are we looking at here? This is my family's Farmall C, well, C 1948. It has a C221 drill tripe planter attached. It's called a mounted system. The tractor was used for planting corn, cultivating corn. Uh, it ran a buzz saw for cutting wood in the winter. The tractor was used on all types of uh, farming it, uh, on a 120 acre farm. Worked, worked uh, hay mowers, sickle bar mowers. Okay, it used the uh, power takeoff to power the mowers and uh, use ground drive for powering rakes and things like that. It pulled a 50T baler with it and uh, we just used it for pushing hay wagons into the barn and things like that. So, How, how long has it been in your family and was used? The tractor was uh, purchased six months before I was born. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, the tractor that we had a Fortson tractor that was digging the basement out of the farmhouse and the motor failed on it. So they took and sold 33 hogs for the down payment of $700. Wow. And then <clears throat> they bought the tractor with some extra things. And uh, the mower and the planters and that, and they re finished digging out the basement of the barn, and then they went into actual farming operations with the tractor. So great! It was uh, yeah. Let's get the other well side. Well used. Well used. Yeah. Uh, these are the these are the seed hoppers, and these are the fertilizer hoppers here. It has a ground drive for the driving the planter. Not all the not all the attachments are with the fertilizer hopper, but the fertilizer hopper would be used to um, drop fertilizer behind the seed, probably above the seed. There were attachments on the units that you could go two inches below the seed if you wanted. So oh, I don't have those. This is a row marker oh. and this locates the next pass for two rows. Oh. My, fa my father would put the front wheels right on that row mark. Uh -huh. And as he came to the end of the field, he would spike the brake real hard pull up the one side row marker, drop the other side as he turned around, and then proceed down the field, going back the other direction. Interesting. And if the fields were long, they would place 80 pound bags of fertilizer on the hood so that he could get to the other end of the field Reload the fertilizer. Reload the fertilizer. Come back the other direction. Because if you didn't, you'd have to have wagons on both ends of the field. That were that long. Oh wow! So he just set it on top. Yeah. Just pile them on top. How interesting. Yeah. It's interesting to hear about you know little things like that when of how they were actually used. Well, they had to manage it somehow. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> and Very be as efficient as you could because my father. Um, didn't really farm it full time. Okay. He had a job in the, in the town okay. working in a factory. And when he would come home in the evening, that's when we would go into farming mode. So it was it was a farm that we usually would raise dairy uh, heifers for replacements to the larger dairies we we couldn't we couldn't really efficiently manage the farm because we were too small but we were capable of farming 
supplying heifers to those operations so that they could they didn't want to invest in that type of operation they were basically efficiently milking and we would replace replace the uh, cows with replacement heifers for them so that was basically our business okay great i think we might lose our audio here in a sec <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Dennis Turner from Madison, Ohio, with his farm all sea. I'm just going to walk around it. This tractor. Huh? This tractor had a hard life. <laughs> well used, right? Yeah. But it's still here. Well, we used to push the we used to push the hay wagons in with the, this application here on a drive shaft, and it would. But it once, I remember once, it slipped off, and the hay wagon rolled back <gasps> and crushed this. Oh, really? Smashed the radiator. So that was pretty. So that's basically been banged yeah. out, right? Oh yeah. Okay, good to you know. You wouldn't recognize it. I got pictures of the. Wow radiator before this before and oh, wow. it took three of us to fix it my, oh my myself and my son and my grandson we all worked on this wow great great memory oh, yeah, exactly.